Hi everyone! For this week's Story Kit Crush Friday, I'm sharing another process video featuring Ali Edwards' Friends Story Kit, and this spread is documenting my new friendship with my boyfriend's group of friends. So I'm starting off with a couple of cards from the kit, including the 3x4 card that says Good Friends, Good Times that I've added some journaling to, the blue 4x6 card that says Celebrating Friendship, and the pink 4x6 card that I've put to the left side of this spread. Um, I had cut off some of the edges of this card to mat a photo for an earlier spread that I did with this kit. Um, so I was just left with the center part that I knew I still wanted to use for another spread. Um, I also have a photo here. This measures about three and a half inches wide by two and a half inches tall. So the idea for this layout came from this notepad of blue hearts, um, and it came with so many of them. I wanted to try to use as many of them as possible on the spread. So I'm going to be using a few of these together with some more hearts that I had cut out of some pattern papers from Coco Daisy. Um, these are from the denim and blush collection from February of this year, and the colors just go really well with the colors of the pocket cards that I had chosen from this friend's story kit. And the way I had made these hearts to be concentric with the heart notepad that came in the friend's story kit was by using my brother's scan and cut machine. Um, so I know a lot of you use the silhouette cutting machine and I don't know if the silhouette machine has this feature but the brother scan and cut machine has a function where you can place an image onto the cutting mat and scan it into the machine and the machine will create a cut file to cut around that image. So I just scanned in one of these hearts from the notepad and that created a cut file that I then adjusted the size of so that I had one heart shape that was larger than the notepad heart and two heart shapes that were smaller than the notepad heart. And that allowed me to cut out these stacking hearts that were perfectly scaled to use with the hearts from the notepad. If you have the digital friends story kit, it does come with an image of this heart so that you can use it to create a cut file, but I don't have the digital kit, so this was the easiest way for me to get my hearts to be the right dimensions. My idea with these layered hearts was that I wanted the two sides of the hearts to be lifted off the page and for the centers to be stuck down together onto the page. So the easiest way to do that would be of course to use a sewing machine and stitch down just the centers of all of these hearts. But since I don't have a sewing machine, I thought it would just be as easy to staple through the centers of all of these layers. So here I'm just folding all of these hearts in half and then lightly adhering them together just in the center with some Tombow Mono permanent adhesive tape runner. And then I have a saddle stitch stapler that's going to make it super easy for me to staple exactly in the centers of these hearts once I have them all folded in half. To adhere these hearts onto the page, I decided to staple a scrap piece of clear sticker paper to the back of each of these stacks of hearts as well. And that allows the hearts to be adhered to the page um, and still allows the two sides of the base of the heart to be floating off the page. So it's kind of like when you have one of those um, metallic bows that you put on presents and the bottom of the bow is stapled to this like clear adhesive square that you can stick to your present. Um, kind of like the same idea as that. So here you'll see that I have all of my hearts assembled and I just have these 3D foam squares from Scrapbook Adhesives that I'm just going to cut in half so that I can put half a foam square behind each of these layers of the hearts and that provides a bit of dimension to lift the two sides of the hearts off the page. While I'm doing that, I'll just quickly mention as well that for my journaling card on the right side of this spread, I had typed out some journaling on some clear sticker paper and adhered that down onto the journaling card off screen. And that's just because I filmed a separate video showing how I do my typing so that the text fits onto the journaling card like in that box, as well as a p comparison of two brands of clear sticker paper that I found on Amazon. So I'll be sharing that sometime next week. I'm just waiting for my replacement toner ink to come in. So um, I wanted to do a quick test on how the toner ink performs on these sticker papers. 
So I'm just testing out where I want all these elements to go. Um, I'm just adding that blue chipboard banner from the kit that says best days with my best friends to the bottom of this page. And then I decided that because the right side of the page is going to be more grid like with that journaling card on the top and then the other three by four journaling card on the bottom. Um, I wanted the left side of the page to be um, kind of a bit more angular. So I decided I wanted to adhere that journaling card and the photo on the left side to be um, adhered at an angle to create some contrast with the other page. And it just so happened to work out really well that the um, large heart that I have in the middle of the page kind of matches the um, line of text um, that is on that journaling card so that it doesn't clash with any of the lines on that journaling card. So this spread only ended up using four of those notepad hearts and I have like 20 of them left. So I think I might be using a couple on some handmade cards later after I've finished using the rest of these elements in the story kit and I'll save the rest of them to maybe write some little notes to my boyfriend or write some notes to my friends. Just removing all the tape backing from the 3D foam squares that I had put between all the layers of the hearts and also just removing the backing from the clear sticker paper from under all of my hearts so that I could adhere them onto the page. And I did find that using my tweezers really helps with removing the backing from these clear sticker paper squares as well. It did take me a bit of time to put in all of these foam squares and remove all the tape backing from all of the foam squares, but I really like the subtle dimension that it gives these hearts. And it's hard to see it when you're looking down on the page like this when I'm filming, but it looks better in real life and I think it turned out super cute. I had parts of this journaling card and this large heart that were overhanging off my page, so I'm just trimming those down before moving on to the right side of my spread. I did debate about adding this Forever Friends banner sticker to the center of this layered heart, but I decided to save that and I'll be adding that to the top of my left page instead. That's um, a bit later in this video. I did pull out that half circle chipboard piece that says new friends and I adhered that to the side of the text that says celebrating friendship. Um, that chipboard piece was what prompted me to create this spread in the first place, so I wanted to make sure that it was included on the title card. And I love the balance of the navy blues and the pinks across both these pages. I think I would have preferred a bit more yellow on the right side of this spread. Um, I had a large yellow heart that was left over from um, creating these stacked hearts, but it was a bit too big to fit beside that journaling card. And I had also debated adding that small chipboard piece from the kit that says Fave Friend because that's yellow as well. Um, but it just ended up being too small for that large 4x6 journaling card there. I am going to add a date stamp to the bottom of this right page at some point in time. So I don't mind too much that there's all that empty space around the heart. So that finishes off my spread. I have two more layouts planned for this friend's story kit, so I'll be sharing those in a couple of Fridays. If you liked this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more process videos. Um, as mentioned before, I will be doing a process video for journaling on clear sticker paper, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks so much for watching.